Hine el Yeshuati Eftach velo evchad Ki ozim azim rat yach Adonai Vayehili li Yeshua Ushavtem mayim besasor Mimayene Hayeshua Ladonai Hayeshua Alamcha Vircha Techasela Adonai Tzevaot Imanu Miskavlanu Elohei Yaakov Sela Layudim Hayeta Orav Vikar came to Yalanu, cause you should say, Uve shame, Aduna, Yakra. I lay la 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 Lai la 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 Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech haolam Lai la 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 Borei peri hagafen Lai la 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 everybody we're going to do twinkle twinkle we're ready for those stars to come out so everyone get their fingers out get it ready are we all ready here we go twinkle twinkle kochavim shining in the shamayim if you say shema tonight everything will be all right if you say Shema today, everything will be okay. Yay, that was beautiful, yes. And are we ready for Shabbat candles? Everyone get their Shabbat candles. You can either have your Shabbat candles like this, or you can have your Shabbat candles above your head like this. You can do whichever one you like. Are we ready? Here we go. Shabbat candles, Shabbat candles burning bright. Burning bright, challah on the table, challah on the table, it's Friday night, it's Friday night. Let's do it again, here we go. Shabbat candles, Shabbat candles, burning bright, burning bright, challah on the table, challah on the table, it's Friday night, 
It's Friday night. And it's time to make our challah for Shabbat. So everyone, we can't going to make too much because we don't want to make it for Pesach. But we're going to make challah. So here we go. All together now. I made a little challah. I made it by myself. I put it in the oven. I put it on the shelf. Now listen, little khala, don't you go away. I need you for my Shabbat, so please be sure to stay. But oh, it looked so lovely, and oh, it looked so nice. I had a little nibble, I had a little slice. And soon before I knew it, the khala wasn't there. The cupboard shelf was empty, the cupboard shelf was bare. <gasps> oh no, where's my khala gone? And now everyone, we're going to sing the Chadadi. We all know it, yes? So let's join in together. I want to hear it really nice and loud, please. All together, here we are. La Chadadi Hilikrat Kala Panei Shabbat Mekahabla La Chadadi Hilikrat Kala Panei Shabbat Mekahabla La Chadadi Le chadodi li krat kala, pene shabbat me kabla. Le chadodi li krat kala, pene shabbat me kabla. We're going to sing the last verse together, so we're going to stand up, and we're going to turn around, and we're going to sing. Boi reshalom ateret bala, gamba simcha uva tzahala, and we turn around again. All together. Beautiful. And now we're ready for Shabbat. So we're going to sing Shalom Aleichem all together. Everyone remember this one? Here we go. Shalom Aleichem, Malachi Hasharet, Malachi Elyon, Mimelech, Malachi Hamlachim, HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Shalom Aleichem, Malachi Hasharet, Malachi Elyon, Mimelech, Malachi Hamlachim, HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Ay, 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 Shalom Aleichem, Malachi Hasharet, Malachi El Yohon Mihi Melech Malachi Hamelachim Hakadosh Baruch Hu Bachem Shalom Malachi Shalom Malachi El Yom Mi Melech Malachi Hamelachim Hakadosh Baruch Hu Bachem Shalom Malachi Shalom Malachi El Yom Mi Melech Malachi Hamelachim Hakadosh Baruch Hu Ayat Bachem Shalom Malachi Shalom Malachi El Yom Mi Melech Malachi Hamelachim Hakadosh Baruch Hu Baruch Hu Nile Shalom Malachi Shalom Malachi El Yom Mi Melech Malachi Hamelachim Kadosh Baruch Hu Baruch Hu Nile Shalom Malachi Shalom Malachi El Yom Mi Melech Malachi Hamelachim Kadosh Baruch Hu Ay Ay Baruch Hu Nile Shalom Malachi Shalom Malachi El Yom Mi Melech Malachi Hamelachim Hakadosh Baruch Hu Tzai Tchem Neshalom Malachi Hashalom Malachi Elyom Mi Melech Malachi Hamelachim Hakadosh Baruch Hu Tzai Tchem Neshalom Malachi Hashalom Malachi Elyom Mi Melech Malachi Hamelachim Hakadosh Baruch Hu Tzai Tchem Neshalom Malachi Hashalom Malachi Elyom Mi Melech Malachi Hamelachim Hakadosh Baruch Hu. And now it's time to sing Adon Olam. So, let me adjust the camera a little bit. Here we go. Adon Olam Hashem Alach Baterem Kol Yetzir Nibra Lied Nasa V'chev Tzokol Azay Melech Shemoh Nikra V'yacharei Kichlot Hakol Levato Yimloch Nora V'hu Haya V'hu Hove V'hu Yie B'tifara V'hu Echad V'ein Sheni L'ham Chilo L'hach Bira B'li Reshit B'li 
ve'tachlit ve'lo ha'oz ve'ha'mesra ve'hu eli ve'chai gali ve'tzuchet li ve'etzara ve'hu nisi u'manos li menat kosi ve'yom ekra ve'yado av kedruchi ve'etishan ve'aira ve'imruchi gaviyati adon ali ve'lo ira This is a story about earrings. A long time ago, the Jewish people stood around Har Sinai, Mount Sinai, shortly after they left Egypt, and Hashem came down on the mountain and gave them the Torah. After that, Moshe went up the mountain so that he could learn more about the Torah from Hashem and teach more to the Jewish people. And while he was up there, and the Jewish people were waiting for him to come down. Some of them decided that they wanted to make their own God that they could follow and see. And so some of the men who had this bad idea went to their wives and said, Give us your gold earrings and we will make them into a golden God. And all the Jewish women thought about their earrings which they liked very much. And they said to the men, Our earrings are very nice, and we're not going to use them for such a bad thing as making an idol out of gold. So you're not going to get our earrings at all. Well, when the Jewish men heard that, they had to use their own gold to make a golden calf like a little cow. And this is just what they did. They made a cow out of the gold and they bowed down to it and they danced around it. Well, we all know that when Moshe came down the mountain, he wasn't happy with this at all. And he had with him the tablets of stone, the Luchot, with the Ten Commandments on them. And when he saw them dancing around the cow, he broke the Luchot because the Jewish people didn't deserve to have them. And whatever happened to those golden earrings which the women had and which they wouldn't give for this bad idea of making a golden calf? Well, a little while later, Moshe said to the Jewish people, we need to have gold and silver and copper and cloth and all sorts of lovely things to make a mishkan, a special sort of house where Hashem can come down and be among us and will keep a special copy of the Torah, which Moshe has written by Hashem's dictation. And when the women heard this, they said, absolutely, that is a wonderful thing for which we can give away our golden earrings. So the Jewish women took their beautiful earrings and they gave them to Moshe to build a wonderful Mishkan. And in that Mishkan, they kept the Torah, which Hashem had given to the Jewish people. All these beautiful words were kept in a special Sefer Torah for the Jewish people to read and to think about. Now, this can teach us a lesson about ourselves as well. We all have lovely things. We have toys, we have books, we have machines and screens and food and all the things that we have we can use in a good way or in a bad way. Like the Jewish people, some of them made a terrible thing, they made an idol, a calf, a baby golden cow, out of the earrings that they had. But the Jewish women, they knew not to do that, and they used their earrings for a good thing instead, for building the Mishkan, so that Hashem could be among us. And so it is with all of us, when we have our toys and our books and our screens and our food and all these things, we can use them in a good way or in a bad way. We can share them, or we can be horrible with them. And this message of the golden earrings teaches us that we should use all the things that we have in a good way. And that way, Hashem's gifts to us will be so beautifully used and we will show Him that we are worthy of giving gifts to us. We can be trusted with good things because Hashem knows we'll use His good things in a good way. <laughs>